Hi everyone. So in this video, we will learn how you can take the value from the input box and append it to the array using JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's have a basic HTML structure here. Link to a style sheet. Add the script file at the bottom. That is script.js. We need one div element, one input element one button text will be add we need one ul element to display the items from the array in the list format save it open the style sheet select the div element give it a width of around 20 percent margin will be auto select the input element and the button give it a padding of around 10 pixels display will be inline block select the li element because we'll create a list using the javascript so in this case font size will be 20 pixels font weight will be bold margin left will be 40 pixels it should be negative this style will be none now just save it open this file in the browser so this is the output we'll get the list here using javascript so let's start working on it let's create a array array will be users and we'll have a couple of names here so let's make it marks james Peter, Jane, and Mary. We need one function to display these names in the UL element. So function name will be add users. We need a variable here, template. And we'll make use of map function on this array to generate a template. Basically, it will be array of list items which will convert into a string using join method. I'll use backticks here. And we need one li tag. Let's cut this, paste it here. User will go here and we need a dollar sign to make it work. So this will return an array, okay, this map function. Now we need to form a string out of it. And we'll join them by the new line character. Now we need to display them. So we'll display them using inner HTML property of the UL element. First of all, we need to select it. So it will go like this document.query selector, the UL element, inner HTML equal to template. I have to call this function here like this. Now just save it, go to browser. You can see. We are getting the names here. Now let's select the input element and the button. So it will be btn add document dot query selector. It will be input document dot query selector. Let's add event listener to this button. Event will be click. this will be the handler function now to add a name to the users array we have to make use of push method so it will go like this users dot push input dot value we'll reset the value of input to empty after adding it to the array and we'll populate the ul element by calling add users method now just save it Go to browser, type some name here, for example, Ronald, click add, you can see we are getting a name here. If I enter some other name, for example, Jackie, you can see I am getting the name here. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.